You're still watching the AM show. A very good morning to you. I am Daniel Dazi, and I'm taking over from Mama V. Oso Abwaji, who is uh, on her way to Parliament because Roland and Mama V will be on the ground there. Um, today, it's all about the budget 2018. Mr. Ken Oforiata is expected to present uh, the budget and economic outlook for the year 2018. Uh, it's already been hashtagged a Juma budget by some persons in government. Um, but we'll hear what Ghanaians expect from Mr. Ken Oforiata as he heads to the house today. We'll begin from Wa in the Upper West region, where residents want a reduction in some key taxes on some common commodities like petroleum and electricity. The last time the budget was read was about eight months ago, and which was the Asempa budget. On Wednesday, the finance minister again will read another budget, and there are a lot of expectations. Today, we are at the world market to speak to the market women, their expectations, and what has changed since the last budget. Farid Mokhtari, for the past one and a half year, has been selling cosmetics at the entrance of the world market. She took over the business from her mother following her death. For Farida, nothing has changed in her business since Finance Minister Ken Ofuri Atta read the Asempa budget in so It has not had any effect on the goods we sell. Things, start, things go up drastically every day. Every day. In fact, we, we, are, we, are, we are really suffering. In fact, and we wish that, that the government of Ghana will do something about the economy. Because he promised to help us. He promised to help us. So at least we are still holding on to his promise that he should help us. Have you seen any change in your life? Not really. I haven't. I'm yet to experience change in my life. I'm yet to experience it. What do you want to be included in the budget? At least the things should be reduced. That The VAT and all those things it should be reduced. Especially the fuel. Because once fuel goes up, everything... Uh, it's been affected. Everything is being affected. So I mean, the, the fuel, the size, the price of fuel should go down. Zala Edif is a student and is used to buying products at the war market. Her reaction to last year's budget was mixed. I benefit in a way some of the things, but sometimes I didn't benefit. For example, it got to the time that the fuel increased. So as you know, I'm traveling from here to Drapa or anywhere, and then it was 50 CDs. Now it's going to be 60 CDs or 55. So I benefit in a way, and then to the other part, I didn't benefit. Haji Odoko has been selling yams for over two decades at the war market. It is through the business that she has been able to take care of her children. Since the Asempa budget was read last March, she and her colleagues have reduced the prices of their products at the market in anticipation of luring more prospective buyers to their fold. However, it did not yield the desired results. Business is dull at the market. Our customers are not buying. They complain that there is no money. As market women, we will be happy if the government gives us loan from Masmo. It will improve our business. What about taxi drivers? What are they saying about Wednesday's budget? We will also listen to them. I do not see any help at all because taxes has just remained as it was. So if well and everything has been increased, but tax does not reduce. And at the same time, the lot of fare does not increase. It means definitely it's not helping with the taxi drivers. I am expecting him to uh, increase the lot of fare. So it will also benefit with the drivers. If he doesn't increase the lot of fare, it won't anyway help us at all. And so clearly means that you want fuel to be reduced. Either fuel should be reduced or lot of fare should also be increased. Basiri Moru has his spare parts store right at the entrance of the Wakajet here. He has been in the business for over 25 years. For him, the much talk about the reduction of import duty or not to pass as much ado about that. No, they haven't reduced anything yet. They have said it, but now things are increasing. When you are going, they say duties is high. Because of that, we are suffering, still suffering. We are still looking about the new government and see how he will do for us. Other than that, we still never see any benefit on it. We are suffering. We, not, we want them to reduce the fuel price and then the dollar and then the duty. That is our major problem. 
then we can be getting something to help our people other than that we are suffering. Reporting for Joy News, Rafik Salam. Wa now those are some expectations from residents in one notice that a lot of them are talking about petroleum pricing and um, a number of them are also talking about one major affair that is affects that is transport fares and you'll find that a lot of Ghanaians would have expectations in this line quite naturally if you'd ask me um, the the major challenge that this government faces um, according to a number of analysts as it goes into uh, the presentation of the 2018 budget is revenue now last year well for the 27 2016 2017 fiscal year what happened is that they were unable to meet that target, which is um, they were unable to claw back $215 million of revenue that they were supposed to have clawed back according to um, the GRA, and that has affected the amount of money that they get in. But the expectation of Ghanaians is that they let more money go by um, uh, reducing some of these taxes. It will be interesting to see how the finance minister will balance that. But let's go to Kumasi next, next and hear from traders on their expectations from the budget. I saw leather belts. We heard about the reductions in taxes, but it has not affected the business in any positive way. We buy the belts at the same prices we used to. We bought the belts at 15 and 20 cities from the importers then, and the prices have not changed. I also sell phones and accessories, right? So when you see way back, it was selling a uh, phone like uh, some, uh, Samsung Note 5. That time it was um, 1,500, and that time you can sell it at uh, 2,000. Then you get your profit via 500 Ghana CDs, right? It was this time around they have reduced their phone prices, but, but the market is going slow. So we don't know whether uh, our president, uh, 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 the inflation that it was reduced, that makes the uh, business too slow or what, I don't know. Because when you see uh, phones like uh, Samsung Galaxy S3, S4, uh, all the phones, they have reduced the prices, all the phones. And even though the accessories, they have also reduced the prices. Um, and this time around, the market is going too slow. The foreign currency. That's the, that's the major thing that's caused our problem because our people who used to go to China and bring the goods use the dollar. And now the grid is also not stable. So in that case, but I think it's better than the, the uh, two years ago. It's better. So, so the things reduced, the of the goods itself? Yeah, yeah. 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 But people are not buying. They are not buying. They are building a place. They are not buying. She says, we used to avoid the tax collectors until we had our first load every morning. If you make a city from that, you deduct 50 pesos before you find food. And the remaining 50 pesos is not enough for breakfast. So it came as good news when it was abolished. We expect government to help us learn a trade and go back to the northern region. We travel here when the planting season is over because that is the only job we do over there. She says the tax exemption has relieved us a lot. What we need now is a sustainable income. We want to learn a trade and go back home. And we expected more of that in terms of expectations um, from across the country today um, of Mr. Ken Oforiato. Of course, the finance minister is expected to uh, be in the house by about 10 a.m. And so by that time, uh, we'll be hearing what the plan will be in terms of finances for the next year. Now, there are so many different elements to a uh, Ghana's books when it comes to money that we will be going into. Um, already, we can see that, it's, you see, it's not just uh, the ordinary Ghanaians like you and I 
who have expectations of government, even uh, the key ministries, departments, and agencies who really are going to be doing the spending of the money have some expectations. Now, uh, during this fiscal year, some interesting revelations came up. The Honorable Deputy Roads Minister Anthony Abayefa Kabo said that, look, there is almost no money in the road fund. There is uh, very little money to... Uh, undertake infrastructural projects now he has been saying that uh, for even projects for the next 10 years it will be difficult uh, to fund with the 1.2 billion Ghana cities that is currently in the road fund remember that it was already announced that there are some 23 million Ghana city debt uh, that was met by this government that has to be that has to be dealt with and so that is one thing that we'll be looking at how will this government be dealing with infrastructure in the first place you know coming into governments they were uh, not so hard on infrastructure during the campaigning but there is still a, an infrastructure deficit that we've been highlighting so there is there are those expectations we'll be going into all of that uh, but like i said more expectations coming your way here in accra the headquarters popularly called kaya say business is booming because of the tax incentives well the rebate uh, that they received from government the ticket how much was it it's 150 pesos have they stopped collecting it? Yeah, they stopped. When? Since when they vote and saying that they will not collect the ticket again. So now, when? How is business? How is work? So now <laughs> the business is going down. It's going down. But sometimes when you come back and you didn't have the money, it's no problem for you. But first, you know, when you don't have money, they take people they will follow you and say you collect the take, but you don't have money. By when they stop, they take to know. It's good for us. Yeah. How much were you paying for tickets? They paying fifty pesos. Do they still take the money? No. When did they stop taking the money? See when they vote. When they vote, that's when they stop. Okay. So how is business? Now the business is full. And the business is fine. Go and get money. We will take for ourselves. We are not getting the money. So the Kaya or headquarters are grateful for. Uh, the tax incentive that they have re they have received and um, this was part of uh, the number of different taxes that were removed uh, during the 2017 budget i'll quickly take you through some of them there was a one percent special import levy there was a 17.5 percent vat and then hill on financial services 17.5 percent on selected imported medicines that are not produced locally and on domestic airline tickets real estate sales five percent vat and then hill on uh, real estate sales. They replaced the 17.5% uh, VAT and NHIL with a 3% flat rate for traders. Now, this particular uh, tax that was introduced brought about so much controversy, if you quite remember. And of course, um, uh, the, one of the executives of the Ashanti Business Traders Association uh, has mentioned that they would prefer the old regime because the new 3% VAT uh, uh, flat rate is, is rather costing them more. Now, uh, the finance minister has mentioned earlier that it will not change, that the current uh, regime will stay. Uh, they've gotten tax credits and other incentives for businesses that hire young graduates from tertiary institutions, tax incentives for young entrepreneurs, and duties on imported spare parts. Uh, so these are, uh, among others, now these are some of the taxes that were removed. We'll go to Parliament now uh, because Roland Walker and George Riafe are standing by but very soon will be joined by leadership of the General Agriculture Workers Union to be looking at what they expect from this budget of course and how they have seen the management of Ghana's finances in this fiscal year. 